Okay, this is chapter two of More Than Sales, Seeking God's Heart for Your Direct Sales Business. Um, day two, chapter two is Family Matters, Changing Your Dynamic. At dusk, when it was time to close the city gate, they left. I don't know which way they went. Go after them quickly. You may catch, you may catch up with them. Despite having a good college education and a really well-paying job, our family was struggling financially. We didn't just live paycheck to paycheck. It was worse than that. With no reserves in the bank, if an unexpected bill or situation came up, we had to borrow money to cover it. Family members were envious of our house or cars. No, these things were extravagant, but still more than they had. But all I saw when I looked at the things we had was another hour I'd have to work to make the payment for it. Sadly, there was just no end in sight. When the direct sales company came to me, I didn't just see a paycheck. I saw freedom. Freedom from debt. Freedom from a job I didn't like but had to keep to pay the bills. It's a vicious cycle, isn't it? Freedom from worrying about how I was going to make the next payment. And freedom to work from home and be a good mother for my kids as they start reaching the age where peer pressure leads them down a path I don't want them to take. So I jumped. I didn't know anything about direct sales. I was an introvert, not a salesperson. And I'll be honest, I didn't know how I was going to sell handbags. 90% of the time, I stuffed everything I owned into my pockets and called it a day. But I needed to change our family dynamic, and I felt positive this was a way I could do that. Have you ever felt there was something out there that could change your whole life if you took a chance? Rahab did. She was a prostitute living in Jericho, whose home was built in the, into the city walls. At that time, the walls of the city were so thick that a home could be built into it, thus fortifying the city and ensuring its protection from invaders. After the Jews, the followers of God, had escaped from slavery, followed God into the desert, and wandered there for 40 years, they finally entered the promised land of Canaan. Their original leader, Moses, had died, and now they were being led by, the, by Joshua, who was a mighty warrior. God had told the Jews that Jericho would be theirs, and he would help them capture it. So Joshua sent two spies to scope out the land. They were spotted, which sent the city into fear, and they beat on Rahab's door until she let them in. Now, why would you think the city would be in fear over two men? It's because God was on their side, and the people of Jericho knew it. The Israelites had conquered every other city in their path, and now these two men were in Jericho. God hadn't failed them yet. If these men were now in your town, wouldn't you be scared? Rahab let these two strangers that were pounding on her door into her home. But the, here's the thing. She knew who they were. They weren't strangers. No, she'd never met them, but she'd heard of them. And unfortunately, the king of Jericho knew who she was and that she'd help them. He sent this message to Rahab. Bring out the men who came to you and entered your house, because they have come to spy out the whole land. The, but the woman had taken the two men and hidden them. She said, yes, the men came to me, but I did not know where they had come from. At dusk, when it was time to close the city gate, they left. I don't know which way they went. Go after them quickly. You may catch up with them. Rahab blatantly lied to the king when she told him she didn't know where the spies were. She knew exactly where they were because she let them escape through her roof. She said to them in Joshua, I know that the Lord has given you this land and that a great fear of you has fallen on us so that all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you. When we heard of it, our hearts melted in fear and everyone's courage failed because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and on the earth below. She made an oath with them to spare her family in return for her showing favor to them and not turning them in. She would keep silent knowing they were coming back to wipe out the city in exchange for her family's safety. They would hang a scarlet cord from her window so that when they saw it, the Israelites would bypass her and keep her safe. You see, Rahab knew what would happen to her city. It had happened to others. But that rather than run scared like the king and everyone else, Rahab chose to follow God. She didn't know this God as her own yet, but she knew of his power. She knew what he'd done for those who did follow him, and she wanted to be with those people. She knew he was the one true God, and she was really willing to risk her own life and the lives of her family to make sure she would be included with the Jews. When Rahab purposely sent the king's spies in the opposite direction of the two Jews, she saw an opportunity to change her family's dynamic. She saw an opportunity for mercy and grace and to save her family in a situation that was hopeless for everyone else. Because of her faith, Rahab had not only saved her life, but she had saved her family's lives as well.
Later, because of her faith, Rahab married one of the spies she sheltered and would be in the very lineage of Jesus. That's proof, positive. You don't have to be perfect or have a perfect history to change the world. The Bible is full of imperfect people who took the hand of Jesus and walked into their destiny. Will you take his hand and walk into yours? Think about it. Is this business opportunity a chance to change your family's dynamic? It doesn't have to be money. You can be the first to go to college, the first to own a home, or the first to get to attend your kids' sporting events when your family didn't even have the money or means for you to do the events as a kid, let alone attend. Maybe your mission is to use this business to change someone else's dynamic, a teammate, a party guest, or even children in another country when you bless them with something that you spouted from this business. Where is God asking you to follow or trust him? What is God's life-changing opportunity for you in this business? Pray about it. Lord Jesus, I want to be Rahab. I want to take this business and have it change my dynamic, my family's dynamic, and the dynamic of women I don't even know yet. I want you to take the life that I am living and help me see how this business can be with you, holding the reins. Give me wisdom to know the opportunity when I see it, because your word says, when anyone asks for wisdom, you will give it to them. I thank you so much for the plans you have for me and ask that you will help me stay the course when I can't see the change yet. Thank you, Lord, that you care enough about me to give me the chance to change my family's dynamic and be as Rahab, saved by your grace and capable of taking a leap of faith that will change generations. Amen.